So checking out those poses, I think those are all really, really cool. The, I think the main thing would be twinning of legs um, and the rest I think is great. So even through here, I think there's something where you could potentially rotate out one of the paws and I would splay out uh, the, what's it called, the, um, the fingers claws on the paws and the claws come out a little bit so there's a bit more of a sense of a stretch and then getting maybe that one arm out so you have a bit more of an offset so it feels like one goes out a bit more than the other um, and I think that will be it's just that it's okay to have it here but even there you could have a, maybe this guy a bit more over there but it's not too bad to me it's mostly the, four, uh, the foreground legs that could be a bit yeah a bit moved out and then spread out the um spread out the, the claws like the fingers you know and the paws and everything it could be something where your one ear could be a bit higher and then i know if you have facial stuff where it could kind of you know something that kind of you have this nice stretch and that could be kind of reflected in the head just a little bit and i wonder if there's anything you can do to bring down that shape into something like that. Might be too cartoony to get it too nice and round. Uh, there's just something about this being a bit too angular. Just a thought. Uh, and this one, you know, it would be interesting for me. I would have also have to look at um, reference, but like the main feeling was that the paw could be a bit lower with a slight out on the fingers as well. Just like just to emphasize that, well, he's so relaxed, he's so tired that it's not so compact, even though that might be real. Um, and this coming up also takes away from the sleepiness, so they might exaggerate and bring that paw down. But then I would probably bring the knee, you know, ankle thingy over this way, so that there's a bit more, a bit more of that, and then the paw down here, just because. Because it's angled towards us, it makes it a very... Like we don't see the bend, it makes it for a very short leg. And we don't see where it bends here. I'll just do that. Uh, there could be something in one of the fingers, again, a bit a bit more offset, even through here, maybe that toe thingy would be in a bit more. To get that, I would probably cheat the tail shape to come into that, so that it, it's not just out here and then a kink out through there and just exaggerate again this might not be real but it could be interesting to see if just get part of the tip will come down just to emphasize um, the gravity and you know the sleepiness that everything pulls the guy down and then you could even uh, experiment with the jaw opening a little bit like that type of feel. But again, it depends how cartoon you want to get and if that's too exaggerated, but it could be worth exploring. Um, this feels a bit where I feel like almost the tail could be out like that or at least out like that. There's something about it just being hidden and then connecting with this that feels a bit weird. I almost feel like for the action to get that, that type of thing. It's here, yeah, I don't know. If you can bring this lower into something um, like that, it's a bit more of a bend. It's the same thing where it, it just feels it's so straight towards us. If, you, if, I, if I do the squinty test, it feels like very um, a very short arm. They're very human eye, uh, humanoid pose, and they might be doing this at one point to attack. But there's something about this that is very odd. I'll probably bring out the ears just a bit more. Just to accentuate like a spikiness to get to be a bit more aggressive. Again, this might not be real, but this almost flows too much with the head. It gives it the too, to me a too much of a rounded face. And it would accentuate that. Maybe even if the tip is up like that, go down but up at the tip. Um, I will probably show more of the fingers, like rotate it either away or towards us <clears throat> to see more something like this. This feels a bit too profile, too blocky. Um, let's switch. This guy's cool. Really, really neat. Cool the shapes here and the muscles. I think this all works pretty well. My only thing would be 
Like, I like it. I like how it's compact and everything. But the animator in me would say, is there any way to bring this potentially a bit lower so that you have this and then so that you can bring this arm a bit lower so that there is a separation between the head and that paw because here it starts to overlap you know if this is a photo then it would totally be okay in animation we're always concerned about silhouette so in a way I say it would be cool to lower it in a way I say well this was for VFX it might be more real to keep it overlapped like that but just right now it feels like the part of the thumb or something connects with the jaw creates a little bit of a tangent and this is a bit of a muddled silhouette for the overlap but you know so it depends on the colors and it could work but something to think about might be able to lower that arm uh, here this really feels two twins it's very very oops my tool <laughs> Um, so if there's anything, you know, potentially bringing that guy further back for a step or something, you know, so it's a, that line is just different. Like this is super cool. Like all of that is nice. Love all this. It's just the back legs are a bit funky. This is cool too. It's interesting. Such a nice model there. This gets definitely more cartoony here. Uh, for this one, I'm curious. Maybe, maybe you can bring that foot away from us down that roll, so that there is a way to have you know the foot somewhere around here to get. Oops, sorry, my tool doesn't help. <laughs> Something like that again for silhouettes to separate out those legs, so they're not uh, connected and overlappy here. This kind of models the energy where you have kind of this block of, of sh geometry shapes and then you have this squinty test. I just see stumps coming out versus if you separate this, you would have, you know, that uh, would be a strong foundation for uh, the guy to come out. This is fine. Yeah, just a little bit of silhouette there. And then we're back to that. And then I'm gonna hit loop. This is cool. The, the main reaction that I had for this was the tail. And you say, well, it's not done yet. So yeah, I just you know start getting to the tail for sure, or hide it when you present something. Um, you know, if it was that work, I'll probably hide the tail just because it's just going up and down. It has a really really nice energy. I really like the feel of the body, what the feet are doing. Uh, I would probably not go as high. Uh, what's the what's the word? Like on your foot roll, not go as high on your on your toes, just to get a bit of a, a bit more heavy weight. So it's almost almost like a horse. Like horses, the back uh, paws actually, you know, with the hoofs that come down and they go almost toe first. Not that this is a horse, but there's a certain element of bringing toes up too high makes it almost human. There's something about this where you can go like that pretty far and at the end maybe have a pose like this and not go too high. Um, for this, I think the front works pretty well. For tigers and lions and stuff, you can really push the uh, quote-unquote laziness of paws to go and uh, you know be like this and in the last three frames it shoots out to be here. Like they stay curled in fairly long. Get okay, that really floppy, flubum, flubum. And this would be like one or two frames. I think you can push that floppiness a bit more. Love the backside, what the hips are doing and the legs coming out there. I think, watch out, you got a bit of a pop through here. Just looking at the shapes, the tail's been in the way, but see how much this goes from here to here and then from here to here, it's not going forward. So it has a bit of a pop here as well. That shape is here while the toes are stuck in, in space. You can put a pin in there and he gets better. So we'll try a little pop there. Head impact is great. Scapulas are great. Yeah, just need some ear animation, some offset on the posing, the tail. There's something in this view where it feels like this side pops out. 
from here to here that line stays and then pop. Something to cut for, even though funny enough here it feels nice because it has a nice impact on the weight. I would say keep it. Yeah, my th main thing would be tail, watch out the feet and offset ears. It's cool though. Yeah, same thing here, you know, pops and stuff. It's very cool. Although if I look at the head, just, just quick. Here, just watch out. See how that nose goes to the right? And then it suddenly stops going up, hits this wall, and then we can pin it again over frame. So it doesn't continue up into the right, and then it suddenly goes down. So you want to watch out that arcs. If I, if I track that nose tip, it feels like it's doing this. So I didn't see that before, so watch. Watch out for that right there. Yeah, good splay on the toes and everything. It's cool. It's a really nice walk. That's neat too. Cool energy, love the circle in the head. It's very cool, really nice energy. I think the feet and everything work really well. It could also work with the tail. I think the main thing is that the head could have a slight more offset and like something like this, it could feel like the head could be aligned like this. You know, in some ear animation, but that the uh, the head has this moment, it might be too much, but something where it's not so horizontal all the time. It has a nice arc overall through this. This could be a sideways tilt and potentially even an impact here on the way up. Uh, it stays always like this here. It could drag just a bit more. It's a little bit of uh, up and down rotation for impact. Cool energy. This would be something with motion blur. The only thing just for realism, when your paws go down like that, right? So once it hits here, from here to here, see how the fingers are not moving at all? So just for realism on that frame, you would compress and maybe rotate the foot over just a little bit and then splay out the toes um, just to get some compression. So it doesn't feel like uh, those toes are just so stuck. See, I can do this and nothing is moving. Something, same thing here. Cool though. Yeah? And tail, tail side to side. Some sneaky front view is cool though. Side view. I mean, side view. Yeah, it's just the. Uh, just the toes. I'm curious. If, again, with motion blur, it might be just fine. The swing, seeing it like this, I think you could go from the paw here to here, and on this, a bit lower, just a tad, and then go down. Not to take away the energy of the pound, the push down, but it has an ever so slight feeling of going out sideways down. And just to give it that extra little arc, just going down here, it would be this pose a bit lower. So you can, you can see in this non, uh, yeah, non blurred version how they come out and snap down. Which the funny thing is, like, it has nice energy. Here, it just strobes a bit. But then again, with motion blur, it might be just fine. Because sometimes you have to, ex um, yeah, exaggerate or even add some pops or weird arcs once you blur it to give it more pep. It's cool though. That's about it. All right, there's an email. You can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.